whose uh, birth father was unknown at that time, that is technically unknown. Uh, you know, he was born in 1872 and his mother gave him a name and that name came on down. Well, eventually, of course, I found out that that wasn't true. So then, what do you do next? And I told you I wanted to dig him up. <laughs> went home and got the funeral director to go with me. We went out and took a look at the cemetery and the graves are so close together that they couldn't get the machine in there. Sort of put the quietus on digging him up. Then I went to the autosomal test, and that's where we're going to come today. Uh, longtime friend, member of the Owsley family, historical society, Floyd Owsley is our speaker. Uh, Floyd is a native of Chattanooga, and his wife, Karen, back here, have been married 36 years and have two grown children and grandchildren. Floyd is an avid, avid, avid genealogist, researcher, and now real, really expert in autosomal DNA. So I bribed him to take my autosomal DNA and take a look at it into the Owsley group. And he had all that background, so it was fairly easy for him to take all the Owsley info and then take my uh, autosomal and put it together. So uh, Floyd worked for many years at the Tennessee Department of Corrections, retired as a sergeant, and he's been a member of the Owsley family for many years and held many positions currently as president. So. I hope you will listen very carefully to him because he's going to tell you exactly how all of this came about and how he found my great grandfather, Floyd. Did everybody get a chart? Autosomal DNA relationship chart. I've, uh, I've submitted my DNA and my wife's DNA, or she submitted it, and based on our results with our relatives, this chart is the best one that I can find on the internet. It's more, it's more accurate. The average set of Morgans is more accurate. Like uh, Bill said, I'm from Hamilton County. I was born here in Chattanooga. Um, lived here about all my life. I live in Oodlewall, uh, just up the highway here. I'm retired from state government. I've been conducting geneal genealogical research for over 40 years. I have an account with Ancestry.com and I utilize Find a Grave. And like you said, I'm a member of the OFHS, the Housewood Family Historical Society. I'm also um, the administrator of the Owsley Surname DNA Project with Family Tree DNA, and the Horn Project, I'm the administrator. Um, we had to solve a mystery in our, in our Owsley family back in 2003. That's when we started the, uh, our DNA project. It was a success at that time. That was 2003. And then we utilized mitochondrial DNA in 2005 and afterwards to solve some mysteries. Is everybody familiar with Y-DNA and mitochondrial DNA? And I didn't really get involved in autosomal DNA till 2014. I just decided out of the blue to do mine and with Family Finder, Family Tree DNA. And then I, uh, I had my wife to do hers. And then, well, now comes Bill again. I've known him since uh, my first meeting in 1989 at Knoxville, the Owsley meeting. He was in charge of it. I think that was when we met. Uh, we're cousins through the Owsley family. I'm from John Owsley's son, Joseph, and he's from Matthew. So that's back. They were born uh, Joseph in 1790, Matthew 1789, something like that. That's how we're related. We've got to be real good friends as well as cousins. In 2015, Bill contacted me about, well, I, I learned that he was trying to dig up Grandpa. 
I didn't want him to do that. And um, his great grandmother's name was Cynthia. She was born in 1848, and she lived in Union County, Tennessee. She had a son, June the 6th, 1872, William Lafayette. They called him Faith Owsley, O-U-S-L-E-Y, and they lived in Maynardville in Union County, Tennessee. Now, Bill has tested with, he tested with family fiber, ancestry DNA, and he, I talked him into uploading the jet match. But most of the good stuff that I found has been on Ancestry DNA. Now, Bill's Owsley line is the only line that comes from Union County, Tennessee. Does anybody know where that's at? North of Knoxville? Just go straight north of Knoxville up Highway 33 and you go into Maynardville, Union County. It was formed in the 1850s from six counties. They just took a circle, almost like in formed Union County. And matter of fact, Maynardville was in Knox County before they formed Union. Now, so Bill's Owsley line was the only line, Cynthia, that come from Union County. And no doubt her grandpa, her the man that she had a son with, uh, no doubt he was from Maynardville area. Now, the first thing I needed to do was learn all about Bill's family and his uh, ancestral lines, different lines. So I studied his family tree, and these are the families that came from the Owls Lake Cook, Powell, Keck, Rice, Barton, and Miller. Now, if you have any questions at any time, please, please raise your hand and ask. Now, I'm very familiar with Union County. My grandfather, John Henry Owsley, who I never knew, he died before I was born, he came to Udawal here in Hamilton County from Union County in the 1920s. He was uh, born up there. His grandfather, his dad was born up there. So through my research, I'm very familiar with Union County and the names of families, the surnames of families from up there. So um, the first thing Bill did, he looked for men around Cynthia's age, maybe a little bit older, who could have, that lived close to her, that could have been the, the father of her child. And he thought it may be a Fleming, which was out, actually an Owsley cousin, an Owsley married a Fleming. So this is really how I first got involved. He wanted to find a descendant of the Marcus Fleming. I believe that was his name. His name was Marcus Lafayette Fleming, so that's why Bill thought that his great grandpa's name was, or his grandfather's name was William Lafayette, so he thought Cynthia might have named him after uh, Lafayette. But that was a common name back then. They were named Lafayette and they uh, nicknamed him Fate. So um, I, I'm pretty good at tracing tracing down family trees. So it wasn't long until I had found a Michael Fleming living in Chattanooga, who was a descendant of uh, Marcus Lafayette Fleming. And of course, uh, he was also an Owsley uh, descendant. So uh, Bill again got in touch with him. I got in touch with him first, and then Bill talked to him, and he did the ancestry DNA. So. <coughs> Bill gave me access, I had access to his family finder, his ancestry DNA, and um, the jet match. So uh, that is really, after I saw what all, all about, learned all about ancestry DNA through Bill's, through what he showed me, his, his matches and Fleming's matches, so I told my wife, I got to do Ancestry DNA too. I got to do mine. I did hers. did my uncle's. And um, so I've learned a lot about it in three years. So um, I would look at Bill's matches often. Just go down the line. And if you've done Family Finder, over to the right of each match, 
some of them have surnames over there. And I noticed one for Stephen Cox. And his name, the surnames were, were Union County names. I got excited. It was, um, one was, I mean, Cox, of course. One was Sailing, S-A-L-L-I-N-G. One was McFetridge. Sharp. Ayler, A-I-L-O-R. That's the name of the funeral home and monument company there. I've worked with them. I've, I mean, I've purchased from them. Oaks, Johnson, and Haynes. He had all the, uh, Stephen Cox had all these Union County names. Plus, he matched Bill, and he had done all three. Jed Match, Family Finder, Ancestor did DNA. He matched uh, 41 Cinnamorgans on Ancestry DNA, 53.9 Cinnamorgans on Jed Match, and 65 in Family Finder. So 65, pretty much maybe a third cousin, third cousin once removed. So I think I called Bill and told him about Stephen Cox. And I said, you, you, you definitely share an ancestor with Stephen Cox, and you don't have any of these names in your, you know, in your family tree. So one of these, one of these names is going to be the name of your great grandfather. So we left it at that. I couldn't find any more. Bill had Bill's closest match at that time in ancestry DNA was with a lady. Her name, her nickname was Carloni, C-A-R-L-O-O-N-E-Y. I don't know how, didn't know anything about her. I had seen her name, they share 163 centimeters. That's really good. That's like, it could even be second cousin once removed, or at least third cousin. So, I would look at her and think, who is this? You know, who is this? And finally, I had sense enough to click on her name. Instead of click over here on match, I clicked on her name. And she had a family tree on there. It turns out she's, her name is Rebecca Carlene Smith. And her uh, singing career, she goes by Carlene Carter. Her parents are Carl Smith and June Carter. She's a close match with Bill Ginn. So I sent her email, or message, and Ancestry DNA, they don't have any emails, they have messages that most people don't even know about it. So you don't get anything back. I have tried to message people to get them to upload to JADMAP so we can see the browser. But um, not, not, usually you don't get an answer back. But I was excited. June Carter's family is from up around Bristol and Abingdon, Tennessee and Virginia up there. And I, I look, first I looked at her family and none of them were Bill's, any of Bill's families in the, through the Gans or any of the other line. How, does, how do you say your grandmother, Degan, Degan? Degan. Degan, okay. None of them were through these lines. Um, so, Let's see. So I started looking at their father, her father, Carl Smith. He was from Union County. Carl Smith from Union County. His father was Doc Smith and another Ida Monroe. I traced them both back. Doc's mother was Louisa Cox. Louisa Cox. Boy, that hit the right off. She was a sister to Stephen Cox's great-great-grandfather, uh, Caswell Cox. So this puts her and Stephen Cox together through the Cox family and Bill being related to them. But with Bill sharing just 65 centimorgans with Stephen Cox, this would mean that Caswell probably wasn't the one. He was, uh, he was it would be a, a brother. So went in Ancestry DNA and started researching the Cox family. Now Louisa and Caswell were children of Coleman Cox and Roxana Foster. 
So now I want you to hand out the other uh, attachment. Once you get this, you'll see at the top it's got Bill's ancestry back to the, the blank. You can fill in the blank of which son of Coleman and Roxana do you think uh, is, this, is Bill's great-grandfather. 